What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to show you how to replace elements uh, with JavaScript. So, so far we've done how to create a new element with JavaScript, how to remove an element, and I'll show you how to uh, replace one element with another. Uh, again, I, we have the same uh, kind of little dummy page here that, with HTML. We have a couple of headings, some paragraphs, and a button um, that says replace element that we'll use. Uh, first, we'll get started here. Um, I'll show you how to replace an element, and we'll just put it in like a function, just so I can show you some of the syntax. And then again, we'll do something more practical. We'll all use an event listener, and we'll click this button and replace one of these elements with an element that we create with JavaScript. Okay? So if you watched my how to create an element with JavaScript video already, um, this you're, a lot of these steps are going to be really familiar because essentially we have to create a new element in JavaScript and then use a method to replace and append or add that new element to the page and get rid of the other element um, that we're replacing it with, okay? So let's start first. Let's replace this first paragraph here. We'll say that we wanna replace this first paragraph with an H4 heading, okay? So we'll say replace first P with H4 heading, write a little pseudocode here. And first, let's go ahead and grab onto the first paragraph. So let's say we'll put into a variable. We'll say const para1 equals document dot get element by ID. And I think it's just p1, if I remember. Yeah, so it's just p1. So we'll copy that and we'll put that in there. And now let's go ahead and create our, L, our new uh, h4 element that we want to eventually replace it with. So let's say const heading four equals document dot create element and then we want to create an h4 okay and now we'll add some text to our h4 element so let's say heading four dot text content equals and we'll push put this is now an h4 okay that'll be the text that's in the h4 and now we can go ahead and actually replace it so we can say we'll grab our pair our first paragraph so we'll say para one dot and we'll use the replace with method it's just, it's just literally replace with so it makes a lot of sense and then parentheses and then we'll just go ahead and put in our heading four variable in the parentheses and save boom so our first paragraph is now gone and now we have an h4 this is an h4 okay so that's one way to do it again the more practical way is is by using like an event listener so let's go ahead and do that now we'll use the button that i have created here we'll attach an event li we'll listen for a click on it and when we click we'll replace we'll say this last paragraph and we'll replace that with an h3 heading how about that so Let's say replace last paragraph with an H3. And let's go ahead and we'll grab, since we're going to use our button, we'll grab this replace button and put it into a variable. So let's say const replace button equals document dot get element by ID. And we'll place in replace button. Then we'll put an event listener on the button. So let's say replace button dot add event listener. And we'll listen for a click. And then we'll just run an unnamed function, an anonymous function. Okay, and then we'll do the same steps that we just did. So we'll say const, so let's grab onto the fourth paragraph. We'll say para four equals document dot get element by ID and it has the last paragraph has an ID up here of P4 so we'll just say P4 let's grab that P4 paragraph and then we'll say const we'll make our heading 3 now with JavaScript so const heading 3 equals document dot create element and we'll say we want to create an h3 
And then we'll add our text for the H3. So we'll say heading three dot text content equals this is an H3. Okay. And now again, we'll use our replace with method. So let's say para four dot replace with, and we want to replace that with our heading three variable, which represents our heading three that we just created. And now we'll click this button and this paragraph should turn into the heading three. Let's see if that works. Uh oh, we have an error. Let's inspect. Reference error, oh, we misspelled document on line 68. So right here, document. Okay, so I got rid of our error. Let's see if this works now. Boom, this is an H3. So it did work, cool. I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.